when uh, when you lived back on the reservation, uh, who were some of your uh, neighbors that you remember close by? You the closest, I just met one here that works in the college, Sylvia. Her name was Sylvia Brappen. She was our next door neighbor, right down half a quarter of a mile down the road. And uh, the Rust family, Taylor family, Mustache family, Cord family, Quarters family, Diamonds. All the names you find all over the reservation yeah. nowadays. When you went into the military service, was that your first opportunity to kind of get to know the outside world? I, when I was going to high school, when I first started, I used to go to Chicago and work. Tom Ford used to take me down there with him. I was probably 16, 15 or 16 then. Yeah. And uh, he had a Hawaiian guy that... He was married to, well, he married Sylvia Brappen. Well, her name was George Taguma, and I think he had his daughter working for, for the radio station. I just met her yesterday. Lori Taguma. Lori yeah. Taguma. She's a general yeah. manager there now, yeah. And uh, I was telling her about her dad, and she, things she had never heard before, you know, because he used, I used to ride down to Chicago with him. He used to take care of me down there, make sure that I had a place to stay, and, he even got me my first job down there. He worked in a Motorola TV there where he was working. He got me in there to work. And he made sure that I got to work. And he took, you know, he'd bring me back home on the weekends. And was there a lot more discrimination and racism against Native people back then than there is now, or was it just more open? Or? It was just more open. It was quite a bit in Hayward, the high school, yeah. You didn't go through high school, you fought your way through high school. And in military service, did you find that that no, was a different kind of a... Uh, a difference, diff, all the difference in the what, world. what was the difference in the military? The difference in the military is that when you go through training with certain the men that you're going through, and you know that you're going over to Korea. And they said, you watch my back and I'll watch yours. And their word was good, and <clears throat> our word was good, you know, what we told that to them. Right. You could and count so on them. No, no, well, you're Indian, I'm not going to wash your back. Or you're white, or you're colored, I'm not going to wash your back. You take care of yourself. It wasn't like that. It's all brotherhood. Take care of each other. Do you think the country is finally catching up with that military experience of brotherhood? I don't know, I, it's a little bit, but it should be better than what it is now, I think. It can be a lot better. You're an artisan as well. You've got some of your wares here yes. uh, on display at La Couture. You wanna, let's take a look at this one. Let's pick that up a little bit and uh, we'll, we'll see if we can get a good picture of that. We're gonna go right from the front here and we're gonna go down. Look at that. Now, uh, you haven't found no reason to use something like that around here no. this weekend, have you? Nope, not yet. <laughs> what are you, uh, you doing this for enjoyment, or? I do it as a, as a, I've been retired now for 17 years. I worked for Rockwell International when I got out of the service, and I put 30 years in with them, and I retired from their company. So I'm all, I got a retirement in my Social Security, and I do this part-time on the side because I, I go to a lot of powwows. I do a lot of powwows in Michigan, Indiana, Ontario, Illinois. And I, once in a while I'll set up a table wherever I go and just sell. This is called a council pipe. And it was brought in by the French. It's a French design because of by the roundness of this pipe here. Mm -hmm. uh, the English are kind of oblong, oblong different, they got sides to it. This was brought in by the French traders when they come across the Mackinac Straits over Michigan. And it was brought into our, into, into our Ishmael Bay people and we traded with them. And it's called a council pipe. 
And when they sat in council, they would sit in a half of the moon circle. And each one of the chiefs had one of these. And this eagle feather, this is an imitation of eagle feather, but if I had it, if I used it, it would be a real eagle feather on it. Right. It means that uh, with the imitation on, you could sell it to anyone. Yeah, sell it to anybody. And they would use these when they spoke, when they spoke in council. And when you have that eagle feather, you can speak as long as you want on anything you want, and nobody can interrupt you, or nobody can get up and leave, or stop and ask questions. And you have the floor, the whole floor completely, until you turn that eagle feather over to somebody else. But they each have one of these, and they voted on it. Back then, there was only uh, probably one thing to vote on, war or peace. If you want to go to war or go to peace, or if you want to peace. And each one would get up and speak their turn, and when they finished, they would vote by using this here. If they wanted peace, they'd bury that tomahawk into the ground, and the peace pipe would be shown. If they wanted war, they'd bury the pipe and a tomahawk would be sticking up. And when everybody finished, they'd just count. And the majority always wanted it. Whatever the majority wanted, that's what they would do. You don't get that much kind of consultation nowadays on no. whether or not no. you have a right to go to battle. Every man can say we're going to war and we're gone. Or a policymaker or a yeah. president. Yeah much more of a consensus making yes. situation there at the grassroots level. Yes. Maybe because the sacrifice is made by grassroots people. Could be. Yeah. Very. yeah. Why did you come all the way over home? Uh, was it did you come home just for the powwow or I came here to have some dental work done. <laughs> and they pulled my tooth yesterday or day before yesterday. Plus, I could pow on this weekend and stay here for that. It's a good reason to come yeah. back home. Then we're going to the day ceremonies from here up at that Odena, which is only an hour and a half from here. Well, it's a good time to come home and a good time to get the work done because we were coming here in this direction anyway. 